that's what it was. Like, apparently the skunks, like, I guess some were bloods and some were crips. I don't know. Good morning, my loves. Oh, gosh. I'm assuming this is the start of a new book. Apologize in advance um, if that is true because it is Friday. Um, it has been a lot going on. And I know you guys are so tired of hearing me say that. But this has to be one of the craziest months I have ever had. Like literally any and everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. Okay, so um where do I start? Um, so my friend died. I think I told you guys about that in the last vlog. Still trying to wrap my head around that, especially finding out the day I was at a funeral. Um, uh, my bathroom is still a hot mess. Turns out that the person who owns the unit, they were paying out of pocket for what they had started to do which was like pulling out the floors, pulling up the water. And then once they got the estimate for what it would be to actually repair my bathroom with just like the basics, like not even me getting no Carrera marble, just like equivalent flooring, equivalent tubs, all that stuff. Um, they said it was too much money. They couldn't afford it. And they filed a claim with their insurance and their insurance um, denied the claim. So your girl is officially um, gonna go ahead and move forward with repairing her own bathroom. Um, there is a no segregation clause in my um, HOA. So I can't like pursue the owner like in court or anything like that. It's just not very neighborly, you know? Um, so, yeah, that's the update with that. Um, so, I have ordered the floors and I'm waiting to clear out, um, like, some of the stuff that I have from, like, all this drama, all this craziness. Um, I have a broken chair I need to take out. I have the box for the toilet. I was keeping it in case anyone needed to see it to reimburse me or something. So um, that's no longer needed. So I'm going to toss all that out. Once I get all the big boxes and the broken chair out, then I'll have like the space to order um, the tub and the surround for the wall. And like I said, the floors actually come today. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, my contractor is just waiting for me to get everything. And uh, I'm going to try my best to stay here as long as I can. But um, more than likely, I will have to have a hotel room for at least one to two days or something like that. So I will probably opt to try to stay in this general area. But it's like where I live, it's not hotels like it's like resorts <laughs> so it's like they're resorts literally like there's no there's no hotels near me so I would literally have to stay um a couple cities over um yeah so that's that I really haven't shown you guys my hair that much but I fully intend to actually film some videos. It's just there's no space. There's just been so much going on. Um, so yeah, right now I'm about to just make me um, a quick breakfast of some sort. So I know this has been a really long intro. Today's going to be a busy day. Today's Chris Brown concert. I've been waiting for this concert for a long time. Um, yeah, so... That is at 7 o'clock tonight. Normally, um, 
I get there a little bit early because it's at the Forum in Inglewood and parking is trash. Um, so I'm probably going to go a little bit early, even though Chris Brown has a little baby and a whole nother opener that I would preferably like to skip. Um, no offense, but, um, just because of how parking is in the form, people will take your seat and you have to be like, set the entertainer and be like two and three, bruh, two and three, two and three. Okay. So I don't want to have to go through all of that because then you have to walk all the way back up the stairs and get the little person and I ain't trying to do all that. Then I'm also trying to figure out what I'm going to wear, like COVID monkey, monkey pox wise, um, I don't believe you have to wear a mask, um, for the concert. I don't believe you have to show vaccination. I don't remember seeing any of those requirements, but I take my vaccination card everywhere I go. That doesn't matter because vaccinated people can still pass and get COVID. It's important for people to know that. So I'm thinking of if I want to do a face mask or if I want to do a face mask and a shield like, how protected am I trying to be, you know? Um, the form does not have handrails. Last time I went, when you go down, so I don't necessarily have to worry, like, about touching something. So, I don't think I really need gloves. I think I could be pretty much hands-free and just hit the sanitizer. So, we'll see. I'm still figuring that out. But I will show you guys bits and pieces and clips from the concert. If I don't, man, that means, like, I was just really... All right, y'all, um, just checking in and saying hi. Give you guys an update and bye. Hey guys, it is a couple of days later. It is Sunday. Last I talked to you guys was Friday. I was so sad, y'all. I did not go to the Chris Brown concert. Um, so as you guys know, I went to a funeral last week and I just wanted to be safe and I didn't have any symptoms. I felt fine. Um, but I was like, you know what? I'm vaccinated. They don't require you to um, take a COVID test before you go to concerts. When you're vaccinated, you just have to show your vaccination card. But I was like, let me just be responsible and take a COVID test. So I, like I said, no symptoms. I felt perfectly fine. I took two COVID tests um, from after the funeral, like throughout the week. And I was negative. Everything was fine. Strong negatives. And then like the day before the concert, it had been approximately like five days since the concert. So I was like, let me just test one more time. Again, not required, but I was like, let me just do it. And that's when I realized that the two tests that I had already taken were expired. So I'm like, ooh, that kind of compromises things. So what I did was I rushed, had my mom put a COVID test in her mailbox and I took a test and it was so inconclusive, guys. Like it, it looked like there was a faint line near the positive and the concert was like in 20 minutes. So I didn't want to risk it because I was going to be sitting next to my sister. My sister has a newborn. So I was like, you know what? We finna give away this ticket. So I know most people would not have done that. Yes, this is alcohol. Um, when your my hair is, this hair is really, really long. It has the potential to rub up against stuff. And in this monkey pox COVID world, I do spray down my braids with alcohol. Call me extra if you want to. Anywho, so last minute, I hit up my sister's friend. I'm like, hey, you can take my ticket for your charge. Can you make it? And she was like, yeah. So I was totally bummed, but my mom's like, no, you don't have to do that. According to the CDC, since you're vaccinated, you're fine. And the potential exposure was like five days or more. All you have to do is just wear your mask. And I, you guys, it's true. Everything she said is absolutely true. And I had no symptoms. But I just could only imagine somebody in my predicament sitting next to my sister and making that same decision to go. 
And, you know, it was just like, it wasn't worth it, you know? It wasn't worth it. $260 down the drain. Um, but to me, it was not worth it. It wasn't worth risking other people who were just trying to go have fun, you know? And Chris Brown has a residency in Las Vegas, so I'm going to make up for it and go to Vegas and see him. It's not the same, but it is what it is. So, um, I tested today, Sunday, um, and I am strong negative, okay? No indication of any type of positive COVID. And... I called urgent care and I asked them like what do I need to do and they're like you're fine they're like the exposure date was at this point eight days ago um, if you did have COVID you can't pass it you're not coming up positive you can't infect anyone kind of like a we'll never know type thing <laughs> so he was like you literally tested on what would have been like the clearance date like the date where you could like rejoin population is the date you tested so whether it was a false positive or just the last day of you potentially having COVID no one else in my family or you know that I've been around has tested positive everybody tested so it's one of those things like, well, we'll never know. And it's like, did I miss Chris Brown for nothing? It is a great possibility. It is a great possibility. Was there a reason I wasn't supposed to go? Was my clumsy self going to fall down the stairs and end up in the middle of the concert with Chris Brown? That sounds like a plus to me, honestly. But who knows, child? And I was upset. I was, but... At the end of the day, it was my decision, and I could have, you know, chosen to just still go, and honestly, I don't think my sister would have mind, because my intention was to keep my mask on the whole time. I had told y'all that anyways. So, nine times out of ten in that concert, you sitting around people who have COVID, but was not going to miss that concert. I promise you. Because I know people who've told me flat out that they have wanted to go to restaurants and they have gotten people to make them fake negative COVID tests. Like why? It ain't that deep. It's really not. But yeah, people have done that. People have gotten fake COVID tests to get on planes. Like to me... And if some of y'all have done that, y'all just gonna have to be mad at what I say. But to me, that's trifling. It is because you jeopardizing everybody else because you don't or didn't make adequate enough time to go get the test. Like what? Because you didn't have time to stop by CVS or go to a free test location. Now you gonna get on this plane or come into this concert with me and potentially get me sick. Like for real. And my my issue with like the whole thing at the funeral, I knew better. I knew better for several things. One, I saw that they were only testing unvaccinated people, which vaccinated people can carry, you know. So everybody in the actual funeral wore their mask the whole time. That I can't say. They wipe down the mic in between people speaking. All that's fine and dandy. The thing you have outside factors. Not everybody who goes to the funeral are also going to go to the repass. You know? And then at the repass, all those people who weren't tested, all those vaccinated people, are in line serving themselves food without their mask on. And there was, someone should have like been like, hey, when you make your plate, keep your mask on. Or, hey, everybody, come in, wash your hands. Get in line for the food. Make your food. Okay? So, majority of my family was there first. Smart. Me, desperately need Starbucks. I went in the house, used the bathroom, washed my hands, went to Starbucks. Then came there. I was one of the last people to eat. You talking about the whole repast and breathed all over the food. Now, truthfully, with me... 
because of my dietary restrictions, I bypassed almost all the food and went for the stuff that most people skipped. So that's kind of why I'm like in the clear, but people did test positive. Let's just let's just say that. People did test positive and I think that it's important for us to remember fascinated people can give people COVID too. Like it's true. If I did have it, I'm blessed that I had absolutely no symptoms. Praise Jesus, because I didn't need them problems. But yeah, it's like one of those things like where we're ne we'll never know. But anyways, that was my long spill on why I didn't go to the Chris Brown concert. Currently, right now, I'm getting ready to go get um, the stuff from my bathroom. I have to buy the tub, but I wanted to see it in person because something about tubs, they all have horrible reviews. Do I want to use this? You know what? I'm going to use my Killian. They all have horrible reviews, right? So it's like... I don't know. They all have horrible reviews and they all have good views. So it's like... Which is it? Oh, sorry. My friend told me to stop doing that. But... It's like so hard to like decipher. I don't know. Okay, earrings. So, um, I stay. Am going to try my best to show you guys while I'm there what I'm looking at what I'm doing and because I am a complete and total freak I'm gonna take another COVID test before I go into Lowe's <laughs> I'm over the top I know but all right guys see you in a bit okay Ugh. I'm in the car I just took the COVID test but I had to concentrate child because it's a complicated one. And I have to wait 20 minutes. So, we'll see. 20 minutes. Now, let you guys know what it is. You see, you can reciprocate. I got delicious taste. You need a woman's touch in the place. Just protect her and keep her safe. Baby, worship my hips and waist. So for my name with grace, I touch your soul when you hear me say, Let me be. Hey guys. So I know I left y'all totally hanging. Like I told y'all I was taking a COVID test. Then showed you some pretty, like, beach stuff, right? So, negative, yay me. Um, then I went to Lowe's, like I said, to try to get that stuff. But I was kind of in and out of Lowe's because I went in, saw the finishes and stuff that I wanted. Saw the quality, was like, okay, bet, this is what we getting. They didn't have it in stock. And they were like, it's going to take 14 days to send it. Home Depot sells the same stuff. You know what? I need to check and make sure that that's left drain and not right drain. So when you buy a tub, you either have left drain or you have right drain. And mine's a left drain. So, Home Depot only had right drain. So, they were like Lowe's and Tustin has it. But now I'm thinking about it and I'm like, do they have left drain or right drain? Because I don't know that homegirl, I don't know that homegirl checked that. Oh, so frustrating. It's so frustrating. So, Tustin is like, is Tustin still Orange County? Tust I think Tustin is Orange County and I'm in Los Angeles County. So, Listen, Orange County's not far. There's some parts of Orange County that I can get to in like 
30 minutes. Then there are other parts of Orange County that you can't. And I want to say Tustin is like an hour away. And it's it's just a lot, y'all. Don't let these freaking HGTV shows fool you. Now, it is not a gammon, okay? In my house, it's just Nat City. Nat, Nat City, okay? So, I set my little homemade... Come on now. I set my little homemade um, Nat Trap. And it hasn't started working yet, but it's pretty effective. It's, um, you take white vinegar and like Dawn dish soap, put a little drop in there. So, you guys have seen this before. It's a little two-piece set I got from Lovely Wholesale. Y'all know my house is a mess. My mirror full of mirror ain't showing nothing. I'm going to insert a picture. But yeah, it's cute. Oh, whatever. It's one of my faves. It's one of my faves. So, I had a vlog go live today. Check that out if you haven't already. So, you know how I'm telling y'all what my bathroom life is like? And y'all just thinking I'm being extra. First of all, what's going on with the fan? Why, why, why it sound like a helicopter is, is landing on my ceiling? Now, let's, let, let me show you. So y'all thought I was playing? So y'all thought I was playing. Hold on. Let me show you. These are the Forever 21 shoes that me and my boyfriend have been sharing. They are now ripped on the side from the adhesive. So, you hear this? These are the only shoes that don't stick horribly. It was way worse before. Y'all see this? I'm left with my toilet so I can use that. I'm left with the, sh the bathtub and the shower so I can use that. But who wants to, like, bruh? You hear that? You hear that? That was me. So, yeah. We just got real intimate. Because most people wouldn't show you that. I'm just trying to let y'all know. It's real. Okay? It's real. In these streets. I got real problems. So, child, hopefully the work can start, like, Tuesday. Today's Sunday. Um, and I will probably have to get a hotel room. Because the situation is already bad enough. Imagine that with, like, a missing tub. And, like, walls open. Like, yuck. Okay? It is literally disgusting. It makes my skin crawl. It's terrible. Now my floors are concrete, so that part of that looking like that is the fact that the adhesive being there and just things falling into the adhesive, but y'all thought I know. I know. Y'all was like, she ain't showed us that bathroom. It ain't as bad as we think. It ain't that deep. It's that deep. The whole bathroom gotta go. Everything. Nothing stays. It's a complete tear down. Okay? But alright guys. So, um, it is... Is it the next day? I'm trying to think. I'm pretty no, no. I'm pretty sure I talked to you guys on Sunday with the failed low strip. Yeah. Yeah. 
that was last year that saw me um so today i am heading over to my uh, mom's house and see i have so much stuff to do but i need a break um i don't know if i told you guys oh i didn't no i wouldn't have um, I ordered the tub, I ordered the wall surrounds, um, the flooring is here. I have to go back to Lowe's and get the paint and then I have to get a, a new drain overflow thing. So I'm going to pick that up, but I'm going to wait for my contractor to confirm if I need 1.5, 1.2, all that good stuff. And then I'm going to pick that up because that has a finish too. Like it could be chrome it could be brushed nickel so i'm getting that because i want to make sure i haven't decided on if i want chrome finishes um oiled bronze finish or matte black so that's where we are with that <laughs> um i decided on the paint color all the other kind of stuff all the all the choosing has happened and hopefully um, we will start actually doing the work end of this week or beginning of next week. So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah. So I wasn't gonna say anything in this vlog, but your girl was invited to a Savage X Fenty event. Um, it was very hush hush. Um, it involved NDAs. It was going to be a blast. It was the day. It was the day after the Chris Brown concert, so I couldn't go because I had that crazy fuzzy COVID test. So I was in such a funk. Friday, I did not say anything to you guys after I was like, oh, concert time. Saturday, I was just kind of like, I don't even think I, I don't even think I vlogged Saturday. I was just really just like, mm, because I'm going to vlog both of those. But so just the fact that like, I'm like editing this vlog, right? And I like have up on my calendar, like, all the ideas for how I was going to get like footage from the concert and footage from the events and <sighs> neither happened. So yeah, yeah, but, but <sighs> all I can say is, you know, Everything happens for a reason. I just ask that if you guys watch my Savage X Fenty videos, you buy from Savage X Fenty, um, they will put down at the bottom, there's like a little space, like who you saw in it, you know, how you heard about them. Just do me a favor and put my name in. I'm pretty sure that's how I even came up on their radar. Um, either that or one of the videos. Well, my first Savage X Fenty video is still one of my most successful videos and still gets views to this day so it could be from that i don't know but i just was kind of bummed i was bummed but anywho um i deserve i deserve to do whatever i want to do now right i protected the world and everyone from a potential hour and 30 minute covid virus that i had so you know what i deserve to do whatever i want so my sister ordered some crumble cookies and i'm gonna eat them and they got milk and i'm gonna eat them okay and then starbucks came out with all their fall drinks one includes like an apple crisp drink and all this other kind of stuff and i'm gonna drink it and pumpkin spice got milk in the in the uh, in the pumpkin spice, and I'm gonna drink it. And then Wingstop came out with a chicken sandwich, and I'm gonna try it. I 
sure am. I'm going on a I'm going on a full on bender. Okay? I am cuz I'm I'm frustrated and I deserve whatever I want. And then after I have stomach aches and pains and I'm hurting for 2 days, I'll come back to my senses and realize the reason I'm plant-based is because all that stuff hurts my stomach. But right now, I deserve it. So let's go get it. So let's go get it. Okay, guys. So I did end up going to Starbucks and I got the apple crisp. But I realized that's the same one they had last year. And it's oat milk. So we're all clear there. So I got the wing stop sandwich. The way we did it was all three of us got one. And we kind of got a half of the one we actually wanted. And then like a little quarter piece of the one we want to try. So this little piece I'm going to try is the new one, Hot Honey. It's really good. It is. You need a napkin? Mm-hmm. Thank you. This is really good. It's hot, though. <laughs> Which one? Hot, honey. Uh, it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's either one. And this one is, um, lemon pepper. I personally feel like lemon pepper gonna be the best. Is that one good? It's pretty good. And then this is Louisiana rub, which I have the most of. This is the one I really want to try though. It's good. I'm going to say the best one is actually the hot honey. What? Maybe because it's a new flavor to me. And I've never tasted it. But I'll be interested to see which one you think is um, the, best. the best. But for me right now, it's hot honey. Okay. Alright, guys. So... I have on this dress only because I needed to grab my Amazon packages and I didn't want to be completely exposed. So let me pull this dress off and I'll be back. So my face is done up. It's a new day. My face is done up because I had a little on camera meeting to attend to. So I ordered a gang of stuff from Amazon. And it shipped kind of weird. Like, it split everything up between two dates, today and tomorrow. So, I don't know what... I don't remember what's here today and what's coming tomorrow, but... Oh, okay. So, I wanted to give these a try. These are bandolettes. Basically, you put them on your leg and you wear them... Your legs and you wear them under dresses to prevent chub rub now i have not had chub rub in a very long time because if you've been here for a while you know that i got bit by a spider on the back of my leg it was a horrible bite i ended up having having several several pounds of flesh removed from my inner thigh so therefore I no longer have chub rub because one leg has significantly less thigh meat okay so but I always get questions about chub rub and I know what it feels like because I did have it in the past um so I want us to give these a whirl and just see like you know how 
well they work, you know? So, yeah, like, do they move? Do they stay put? It says that this size is, uh, if you wear a pants size 22 to 24, then these will fit. So, we will test these babies out. Okay, and again, that's just for the massive questions I get about chub rub. I think because I buy a lot of skirts and dresses. So, yeah. If that could benefit any of y'all. Cool beans. We can try this baby out now. So you guys know I currently have in my head Passion Twist. And passion, my Passion Twists are 36 inches long. I've had to get creative in how I wrap my, my uh, hair at night. And sometimes it'd be hot. And just like, you know, moving around. And so we about to see. They all got in there. It probably look crazy, but, and it came with two, a black one, and then this colorful one. So, I'm going to leave that on the see. Child, the boxes in my house are building up. Got to do something about that immediately because my tub and shower wall come tomorrow. I've been wanting to try this. This is the Cross Disinfectant Mist. Now, apparently, this is for counters, doorknobs, couches, car interiors, plastic toys, bedding, anywhere where you just kind of want a little bit of that extra, like, so let me see. I like the fact that it's a mist and you don't have to wipe it down. So, <coughs> <coughs> so yeah, I got one of these and it's a set so it comes with a refill. So, that's good. We, 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 we need that. And I think like it would help me with my groceries because I wouldn't have to wipe them down individually. I could just, you know, do the quick spray around. box more of my trusties so um i wiped down my entire house all my surfaces i washed all my pillows all my bedding um i still have to wash all of my couch pillows and that'll be about it but when i went on that massive wipe down i was on my last one of these you guys see me use this all the time so I just re-upped and I keep a fresh pack on top of the air fryer to wipe down and typically I keep one in the bathroom too but there's nothing in the bathroom so and then this is what I've been waiting on child for five years I've had a 99 cent store broom, nothing wrong with that, and a 99 cent store dustpan that is broken, and is a floor dustpan where you have to like bend down. I said, Amber, why? Why is you bending down when they have sets with where you can not get all on the ground? So, basically, let me pull it all out. 
child, you know, they ain't sending nothing set up. So this is the thingy, the, the dustpan. But what I liked about it is it has this here where you can lock the broom in and you can pull out anything, any hairs or anything that gets stuck in to better go into this. Okay. So with all this like stuff going on with like my bathroom and knocking stuff out, and pulling stuff out, I'm just seeing more dust, right? So, I'm like, uh, uh, no, you know? Oh, oh, come on, get it together, child, get it together. Okay. It's gangsta lean, but we'll keep the instructions in case I did something wrong. And that is basically it. Um, oh. It's foldable. It's not supposed to say that. It's foldable. So it's supposed to fold like this and go in storage. Okay. Okay. So you don't gangsta lean. Um, so yeah, that is basically, and this thing is hot, I guess, cause it's not breathable. It's, it's a little hot, but I could just be hot. So I'm gonna turn on, I'm gonna turn on the air or whatever and wipe all this off my face. You guys, I had the craziest experience last night. Let me get me something to eat so I can sit and tell y'all. Okay, guys. So, I'm in bed. I ate something small just because I was so hungry. I felt like I was, like, going to pass out because I hadn't eaten all day and it was, like, 5 o'clock. Um, so, I ate something small. I laid down. I'm so exhausted and so tired. Aunt Flo is coming to town and she just uh, takes a lot out of me. But I have to tell you guys about last night. So, I'm laying here, right? No, I'm asleep. I'm lying. I'm asleep. And I have the window open and the fan on. And I smell this weird smell. It's like melting plastic or like burning tires something like that right so I'm like okay is something on my house like on fire so I get up I check my washer my dryer I check my air conditioner check my fan I go in my bathroom so I'm like hey maybe something's going a muck there nothing so I get up well, I'm already up. I go to the door. I open the front door. I'm like, it smells like it's coming from outside. So I was just going to get back in bed and go to sleep. But then I'm like, no, Amber, because there is like two houses that are empty near me. Like that are about to go on sale or about to be rented out. And so I was like, what if one of those like vacant units is having a fire and I go to sleep and boom right so I was like no let me get up and look so I get dressed put on my shoes put on some clothes I walk out and the smell is really strong so I'm like okay let me walk towards my car like towards the parking lot so I walk towards the parking lot and as I go, it's like overwhelming, but I don't see any smoke. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is going on? So I'm like, Amber, just keep going to your car, right? If all else fails, you can drive around the complex, see if you see like smoke or whatever, right? So as I'm getting closer and closer to my car, it's becoming so overwhelming. I'm like, wait, is it messing with my breathing? Let me hurry up. I get to my car, I run in, I close the door and I'm like, oh. <gasps> I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that smell? But there's no smoke. 
So I call security, right? And I'm like, hey, um, I just have a quick question. I was like, I keep smelling this and she cut me off immediately. And she was like, skunks. I was like, huh? She was like, yeah, it was like a skunk war a while ago and skunks went crazy. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is like a burnt rubber fire gas like scent. She's like, yeah, skunks. She's like, trust me, it happens by my house all the time and it's skunks. So I'm like, a part of me believes her, but a part of me is like, that don't make no sense, right? She's like, be careful. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, is he like through my window? It woke me up. Like, I'm all the way to my car. Like, I live here. You guys are here. And she's like, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's covered the whole complex. So she's like, be careful walking to your car because you definitely don't want to get sprayed. I'm like, well, yeah, no, I definitely don't. So I get, as I'm walking back to my car, the smell is better it's still everywhere but it's not as like strong so i get in the house i close my window i turn on my air conditioner like try to get some fresh air in or whatever and i'm like let me google it let me put up on the screen child it literally described it exactly what i was smelling there are like three different ty types of sprays a skunk can do and apparently one of the sprays the worst spray is the one that will make people call the fire department the gas company thinking that something is burning or something is melting and it's skunks it's during mating season i could not believe that i cannot believe i mean my complex is humongous so for it to take over the entire gated community what and sure enough like that's what it was like apparently the skunks like i guess some were bloods and some were crips i don't know but they rumbled in the parking lot and the smell was so strong it woke me up out of my sleep like, what? Imagine if you were minding your own business and walking and got caught in the crosshairs of that. That's not a bat in the cave. That's the that's the ball of my... No, sorry. Imagine, okay? Imagine just minding your own business and getting sprayed that funky. Like, you can't come in my house after getting sprayed like that like no and they were like saying like how the little article I was reading was saying how some homeowners if their house gets sprayed with that scent that particular spray they've had to move out of their house for like a month because the smell was just that bad like can you believe that but anywho I just ordered myself some fat burger impossible burger i realize now what drove me to do the whole wing stop and all that is aunt flo she makes me crave horrible things but at least this time it's plant-based so it's going to be impossible burger with the fat fries and i think i got like a lemonade or something i was going to get one of their vegan um milk chocolate shakes but like i was like you're doing too much amber you're doing too much you doing too much so that's the plan and i just wanted to pop in and tell you guys that i survived a skunk roar barely barely okay my house was funky until like three o'clock in the morning i think that's another reason why i'm so tired to be honest with you because i didn't go to bed till like three and then i had to get up at like six so a nap is much needed, but skunk war guys, peace in the mail.
That's how we fall out. That's how we fall out. That's how we fall out.